What's up guys, Matt here from Raleigh, North Carolina. I thought on a gorgeous day like this, maybe I ought to do this Wednesday word from outside. And I want this video to be an encouragement with you guys. And just as a reminder, let you know that sometimes in our spiritual walk, we have to crawl before we can walk. So many of us want to be perfectionists. We want to have kind of our ducks in a row, our, our, our faith walk laid out for us. When all throughout the Old Testament and New Testament, God makes us walk, before, I mean crawl before we ever walk. You know, the Apostle Paul, I was reading in 1 Corinthians, I think it's chapter 3, he, he's telling the church of Corinth, he says, I gave you milk instead of solid food because you weren't ready for it. And often, with many of us, God works the same way. He wants to, he can't break us straight into solid food, straight, real in-depth, faithful things of the Word until we've mastered the milk, the basics. And I want to encourage you today that you have to start somewhere. We all want to be advanced. We all want millions of followers and this big circle of influence and God to do these miraculous things in our life. But we don't want to do those crawling stages where God is kind of molding us, shaping us to get us ready for what he's about to do. You never know the impact what you're going to do is going to have. You might do something that leads to one conversation that changes somebody's life and then that person changes a million. I mean, you never know. But I, it, it is important that we just get started. The Bible in itself seems very complicated. It's this big thick book of multiple, all, over 40 authors, 66 books from thousands of years. It can be very confusing. It can be very, it says that, like the Bible is like a, cuts to us like a two-edged sword. So. If you're like me, when I read the Bible, I feel very vulnerable. I feel very unworthy. I feel very um, um, judged slash kind of condemned and very defeated because I realize I cannot live up to what all it's telling me I need to do. But that's where the beauty of the cross comes in. God took our place. When God sees me, he doesn't see Matt McCoy. I've given my life, I've surrendered my life to him. He sees Jesus on that cross. So he'd become that, that propitiation of our sins, that, that, that gatekeeper. So God doesn't see us, he sees Jesus on that cross. When we are weak, he is strong. We have to get started, we have to crawl before we can walk. We have to just stay faithful and say, God, I can't, but you can. Today, I'm gonna get started in the word. People write me all the time and say, where should I start? If you just want to read one book of the Bible, I would say read the book of John. John goes through the life of Jesus. It starts with Jesus as an adult and talks about many of his miracles, death, resurrection, all that. So I would tell you, read the book of John. If you want to go a little bit deeper, I would read the book of Luke and then Acts. Luke wrote the book of Luke and Acts. Read that and it talks about the life of Christ, the death, the burial, the resurrection, and then how the church started. So there's you a great place. If you're wanting quick um, life helps, things that God give kind of bullet points, read Proverbs. If you want some encouragement when that David was going through doubt and all this stuff and he wrote Psalms, read the book of Psalms. But guys, we have to just get started. It's going to feel convicting. It's going to feel complicated, but you have to dive into it anyway. You have to be disciplined enough to say, God, I'm going to do this because it's the right thing to do because I want you to do something through my life. And I'm so thankful that my parents instilled that in me, that those disciplines of reading God's Word daily, doing devotionals, memorizing scriptures, that when I do go through trying times, I'm running that in my head. I have like this Rolodex of scriptures, and I'll just start quoting, uh, trust the Lord with all that heart, lead not to own understanding, all his ways acknowledge him, he shall direct thy paths. I can do all things through Christ to strengthen me. When I'm weak, you are strong. You're the light. And it's boom, 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 boom. And I'll start this. And all that comes from just years of my parents teaching me to be disciplined and learn the word. And I tell you, you can't get there. And I still have a long way to go. I'm not saying I'm all advanced. But I'm saying many of you guys feel intimidated by the Bible. And it's totally understandable. But you have to start somewhere. Start from the book of John if you want to read one book of the Bible. 
If you want to read two, read Luke and Acts. And let's get started and just commit, say, no matter what, I'm going to read one chapter a day or two chapters a day. I don't care what happens, when the day starts, when the day ends, or my lunch, I'm going to read one or two chapters and allow God to start speaking to you and working. Because the Bible is not just in, in delightful thoughts about God. It's God revealing himself to us. When that clicks and you realize that it changes everything, you say, God, I'm going to open your word and I want you to reveal yourself to me. And, and by revealing, it's things you don't know yet. I see men, I, I meet with pastors, different people that have way stronger faith than I do. And God has revealed himself more to them than he has me. And I say, God, I want that. I want that close walk. I want to reveal. The phone's going to fall there. So let me uh, encourage you guys, crawl before you walk. Go out there today and start today. Get on your knees and say, God, today's the day I'm going to start. Today's the day I'm going to be disciplined enough to surrender time in your word, time in prayer, and time committed to you. Check out AcousticSelection.com. Go to like Facebook.com slash AcousticSelection. Thank you for another Wednesday word. God bless you. Go enjoy this weather.